What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the vault. Um, another late one, but I think by this point we've realised I'm a terrible human being who has poor timekeeping skills. Uh, the film I will be reviewing this evening is for Hellboy, so just jump straight into it. <clears throat> this one opens with an introduction to our titular character uh, before he is forced to fight an old friend. There's a cool cast for this one. Uh, David Harbour perfectly embodies the, the persona and attitude of Hellboy. He also looks great in the makeup. Uh, Ian McShane plays Hellboy's uh, father, and I can honestly say that I've enjoyed him in pretty much everything I've seen him in, and I'm really looking forward to seeing him in John Wick 3, uh, uh, I believe at the end of May is when that comes out. Uh, and Mila Jovovich uh, plays our villain uh, and, and gives a perfectly sinister performance. Casting wasn't this film's uh, issue, however. Um... The story is a rather big mess. It stumbles a lot and, and has confusing editing. It's overly crammed in terms of its themes and narratives. I mean, it tries to squeeze in this whole King Arthur uh, narrative that just didn't really work. Um, the supernatural and occult elements uh, do work really well, however. And Hellboy is written well enough that he is an inst instantly likeable character. I think that, that really goes... To, um, credit for that really has to go to towards David Harbour who who really made the character his own. Uh the CGI and special effects are probably the strongest aspect of this film. Uh there are some noticeably bad uh, CGI moments but for the most part there are some pretty cool rendered scenes. Uh the design of the various beasts and demons are also quite cool. Some of them look downright creepy uh the makeup in this film is also incredible it's probably the the best thing about this film david harbour looks badass uh in in the hellboy makeup and prosthetics a job really well done to the makeup team um a fairly uh unknown director for this one neil marshall does the best he can with what he has uh and is certainly not afraid you know to turn up the gore and visceral tone uh of this film He's also great at giving us some some lovely shots. The main standouts being a couple of continuous one-shot sequences and also a wonderful shot of, of Hellboy with the horns fully grown and a crown of fire above his head. So there is my very, very, very quick, it's probably the quickest review I've ever done, uh, for Hellboy. Um, I just jumped to the two most important questions. Uh, question number one, would I, would I recommend this film? Honestly, I wouldn't recommend this film. Um, I mean, if you've the only way I would recommend this film if, is if you've seen everything else out already, um, and you're basically just waiting, you know, basically waiting for Endgame to come out, and this film is basically just a filler until that is out. Um, but even saying that, there are plenty of films out at the moment uh, that probably deserve your time more than this. So I unfortunately would not recommend this film. Um, it has a maybe strong first 20 minutes, but after that, it just kind of uh, loses itself a little bit. Uh, question number two, does this film belong in the vault? I mean, I can see why this film let people down. I, I tried to find something to enjoy about it other than uh, David Harper's performance, but there honestly wasn't much. My main issue was the clunkiness of the script and some really terrible acting. Uh, also, never really picked up any pace, um, and it was just a bit of a a, a, a mess uh from the get go really. Uh so it will not it will unfortunately not be going into the vault. Uh, so as that little turd star has gone off into the depths of hell. Um where this film belongs, really. Bit harsh I know, but uh but yeah. And if I learned anything from this film it's that bitches be crazy. You know, even even if they are fifteen hundred years old. So um there's that. Uh and there we have it guys. There is my review for Hellboy. If you've seen the film and you liked it let me know what you like down in the comments below. If you didn't like it, again, let me know what you know you didn't like. I I get a feeling that a fair few people are not gonna like this film too much. Um, and as always, guys, you know if you like what I'm doing here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, your pets, your family. You know with your you know demons that you may know from hell. I don't know. Uh, and I will also be uh putting up more game reviews uh, in the next couple of weeks. I just. I haven't really found time to get around to it. But until the next one, peace and love my dudes.